Oh, greetings from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, technically Franklin, Tennessee. Wanted to show you all what we are up to. This is a trip that we went on. My wife being into the equestrian uh, business and the equestrian community side of things that she is. Uh, she does a lot of traveling for horse shows sometimes. And in this case, we're at a farm in Nashville, Tennessee, or Franklin again, sorry, called Brownland Farms. And this is a pretty nice little place. Very well maintained, very clean. It's pretty neat, I like it. And uh, it's been nice to hang out here for a few days. So that being said, I want to show you guys our little setup over here. We are parked in a field and we're just with a bunch of other horse trailers, trucks, and just golly, all kinds of stuff out here. It's pretty amazing how much money and time and effort and everything goes into, into the uh, equestrian side of things, but it's a good business. Uh, I guess there's money to be made and it's a sport that people like. Probably just like us guys in car racing. You know, I've been told that uh, that uh, horse girls are, bas are basically the female version of car guys, or car guys are the male version of horse girls, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so anyway, we've got, uh, I power washed, had the RV power washed before we came on the trip, and man, it cleaned up nice. Looks so much better now. We drove this down here. They didn't have any, uh, hookup spots for RVs at the time but that's okay because we were towing a pretty heavy trailer so we're running off of our uh, 50 gallon fresh water tank I believe it's 50 gallons we've got a full 100 gallon uh, tank of diesel fuel that the little uh, generator up in the front is running off of so that thing could run all day all night for weeks and still have uh, fuel in the tank brought down some golf carts here that's pretty much the method of transportation to get around the farm down here we got this one here which is gas and then we got another one here which is electric the electric one it should be done charging by now but I put it on the charger when she got back I basically just tucked the little charger in here uh, oh it's still charging Wow, I thought it'd be done by now I guess not so the charger just plugs into the little outlet there and the cables run out through that little the little door there they come out and then uh, plug into the golf cart and you're ready to go so we'll let that run through the rest of the evening and maybe overnight let that charge up all the way I've got all my tools to work on things as need be I got a nice bunch of tools in there show you the trailer that we towed down here I towed this heavy dude this is way overkill for just golf carts <laughs> but um, nevertheless it did the job that's the trailer they had for us so I towed this trailer with the RV down here that we had both of those golf carts on it towed great had absolutely no problems whatsoever maintaining speed keeping up with the flow of traffic and I haven't even done the TST mods yet um, it so it it works great I like uh, I like this camera that I got. I got this little camera off of Amazon. I decided to just try the cheapest one they had just to see how it would work. And I gotta say, at night it's okay. When it's bright out and sunny, it works best. But man, dusk and dawn, it's, I don't know, it's its almost worthless. Maybe I need to work on relocating the antenna or putting the antenna in a better place. But the reception is not that great. But you know what? It's better than nothing like I had before. The old camera didn't work at all. This camera works great, so I have no problems with it, except for the, uh, sometimes there's a little bit of delay in the image, but for a hundred bucks, man, I'm not complaining. I can at least see what's back here, make sure the golf carts are still on the trailer, because you cannot see anything. You can barely see the edge of the uh, trailer here on either side in the mirrors, just because the RV itself is already so big. So it cleaned up really nice after the power washing. I mean, just a huge difference. Looks pretty good, cleaned up really nice. For being a, a 95 or a 96, one of the two, I'm amazed at how well the stickers are holding up. Generator's been running great ever since I topped off the coolant that one time. Never had any issues with it. 
So, loving this generator life. It's nice to just be able to park anywhere and have your air conditioning and your 110 inside, hot water, running off of the, again, we're running off of our fresh water tank, so can't go crazy and just use unlimited amounts of water, but we can still take a shower or two, wash our hands, clean dishes, things like that. It works great. Well, let's take a look inside, see what's going on inside here. She's sleeping. You worn out? It's YouTube. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a dog. She's not interested. She says, look at the dog instead. The dog's like, look at me, let's play. Well, actually, she's gonna go, yeah. She's tired too. Even the cat's tired. Normally the cat, normally the cat sits up here on the, uh, uh, next to the windshield, but she's not there right now. I put in the new uh, Put in a new head unit while I was here actually guys got to do something while his wife's at the horse show, right? so I put in a, a New radio head unit here. It's a so Model and it has Bluetooth and all the other good stuff there And uh, it works great. I love it pairs to the phone. No problem has auxiliary inputs and all that good stuff in the future, what I would like to do is I'm going to mount an iPad mini here so I, with a cellular so I can use Google Maps and all the other stuff or any apps that you might use. Here's a little monitor for the camera. I have the rear camera wired to the rear clearance light, so when I turn the lights on here, there's the lights. You can see the camera comes on. There's a trailer in the back there. So, I mean, it works fine during the day, but once it starts getting dark, that's when it gets a little funky. I'm shut that off. The radio will come on whenever you start the chassis engine, or with the chassis batteries on, you just push this little switch. Then that turns the radio head unit on here. It'll power up, and you got your music. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. I also replaced the speakers. I put these... Uh, kickers in. I like the kicker brand of speakers. It's pretty good, but they sound great. They sound so much better than the old ones did. So there's two of them up here. We'll head back into the uh, bedroom here and I'll show you the other two. Here are the other two speakers. We got one right there. Another one right there. Both the air conditioners are working great. We've got our bathroom, everything we need in here. Got our hot water, water pump, turn it on and off as we need the water. Got our battery's good, of course, because the generator's running. LP is good, fresh water's good. We're just starting to get up a little bit here with the one holding tank. I'm not sure which one is gray and which one is black, but anyway, we're fine for now. So there we go, just hanging out here. We got a gorgeous view. I really like this view. It's got a nice view out there. I think, uh, I think her horses are, now they're somewhere out there, a barn further on down. But there we go. So a first longer trip with towing with this thing and it worked great. I absolutely love it, can't complain. Looking forward to doing the TST mods and seeing how that helps things out. All right, we're going to go get some dinner. The cat and the dog are going to continue their naps. We'll see you guys in the next video.